Hi, I'm Matt from Tubby Tarot, and this is a Halloween special. Halloween on a Sunday. What does Halloween kind of um, bring back for you? What memories does Halloween bring back for you? And do you actually remember your very first Halloween when you dressed up and you went trick or treating? Hi, okay, so we're going to be talking about remembering your very first Halloween experience dressing up. Now, please don't gasp in shock, but my very first um, Halloween when I dressed up, I was about 16, 17 years old. Because as I said in my last, in last year's video, meh, Halloween in South Africa. I was invited to a party and the theme of the party was come dressed as your worst nightmare, all right? And people were going as the Mad Hatter. I had one girl go as a river in flood, don't even ask. Um, it involved an enormous amount of um, satin and tulle. Um, there was somebody who was dressed, obviously, as a corpse. Um, very different things. And the spec was, don't just make it your worst nightmare, make it like an original thing. So it's like your worst nightmare, but make it like an like original, you know. What is the one thing that kind of spooks you out or freaks you out? And I remember it was held at a, a friend's house in the middle of, in South Africa, we say the Khramadulas. It means in the middle of nowhere, okay, like out in the country somewhere, you know. Um, <laughs> where like you've got to travel for half an hour on a dusty road and then you get to this old house and I think it was pretty cool um, and we all arrived and there were snacks and there was this and everyone was like going oh my gosh you look so cool oh wow what are you supposed to be oh sweet Jesus um, and it was very lacquer as we say in South Africa it was awesome and of course you had a couple of beers and a couple of shooters snorted a little bit of the stuff that you're not supposed to, you know, dropped some sugar cubes on the on the tongue and you were on your way. And that was kind of like the introduction to the evening. As I say, this was many, 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 many years ago before we had things like edibles and cookies and shit like that. So yeah, this was this was the very first Halloween that I remember. And I remember all these people completely stoned out of their minds and then sort of like, people were swimming naked in a swimming pool and um, their Halloween kind of costumes were literally found three days later in the bushes. And if you stick around, I'm going to actually put a photograph of what I went dressed as. Um, and I will give you a hint. In fact, I'll tell you what I was dressed as. And then you have to wait around for the actual photograph. Um, and I went as a very, very, very old Susie Sue from Susie and the Banshees, a very old tired, um, completely like washed up Susie Sue. Too much drugs, too much alcohol, far too many smokes. And this would, this would be like my horror story, like waking up one morning and looking like an absolute Susie Sue sucked as a dry mango. Um, so I did that. So wait for the photograph. I'm going to show you the photograph. Um, and it was great fun. And that was the very first ex sort of memory that I have of, of Halloween. You see, as I said, we don't really do trick-or-treating and that, so Halloween wasn't a big thing when we were children. Um, but I think as you grow older, you can set your own Halloween um, parties up with friends and maybe some distant relatives, make sure they're really distant, and have an absolute chawl, an absolute party. And this party went on for like, let's say we started at 6 um, p.m., I think we only got out of there at like 8 p.m. the following um, evening. It was just an all night, all day, no sleep, complete rave. It was people who had brought their guitars and people, electric guitars. <laughs> um, it wasn't a kumbaya kind of party at all. And we were like jamming out to sort of like um, um, death metal had just come in. It was like a new thing. And then we had a couple of guys who were, who were starting garage bands and they were playing this death metal. And that was just so in the in the spirit of things. I mean, can you imagine all these like weirdly dressed folks, some naked, some Susie Sues, um, and you are tripping out of your out of your fucking skull. And then you got someone playing like death metal in the background. It was 
a parte. And I don't think I have ever, in fact, I know I have never ever been to a Halloween party or any party for that matter that has ever matched up with that party. It was freaking insane. So have a look at this. Have a look at, um, have a look at this. No, this. <laughs> and you'll see that, uh, that I kind of did look like a very old and very haggard um, Susie Sue from Susie and the Banshees. <laughs> okay, so that was, um, I don't know, I don't know if I've just made your eyes bleed or terrified you into never coming back to my channel again. But yep, yeah, that was me. That was, uh, that was the old Susie Sue. And you know what? It took me so long to decide on that costume. And in those days, you would do that. You'd get together and go, oh my God, what are you wearing? Oh my gosh, how can I get that kind of look right or whatever? And I will never forget, I had to, I had to go and buy <clears throat> the garter thing that was holding the stockings up. It was like a, I don't know what you call it, ladies. Garter, garter. Um, a garter belt. I think it's called a garter belt. I had to go and buy this bloody thing. And it was, I actually got a friend of mine, um, Ingrid, to go in and buy it because I just couldn't. Uh, we had to go to like Woolworths or something. <laughs> somewhere to because we didn't have like lingerie shops and stuff it was either like you get like really cool black panties at Woolworths and apparently their bras were like really good so I had, to, I had to ask her to go to like Woolworths and buy this thing for me and then of course we had to get the biggest size possible because of my ass and uh, it was just like a really it was just really really funny and then the funniest thing of all is we had to drive <laughs> we had to drive to this party and we had to drive for about maybe half an hour to get there and we were driving um, through town and then we hit the freeway and it was just insane. People were hooting, people were screaming out the windows and it was just, I don't know if they were shouting in horror, if they were shouting in like, hey, well done, or if they were just basically swearing at us and saying, my God, like, what, what the fuck? But it was, it was awesome fun getting there. Um, and I think we all have this nostalgic looking back at our first party on Halloween. And yes, I understand that, especially my American folk, um, I know you guys have been involved in this since you were little Twinkies, okay? And you've gone out and you've dressed up at the, as a three-year-old as Baby Shark. Um, Justin's niece is doing that this year. She's Baby Shark, oh my God, it's just my heart. And yes, you go with your little pumpkin your little packet and you go and do the whole trick or treat thing i've never ever come across someone doing a trick so maybe that's something you could tell me down below have you ever instead of doing the treat side of halloween have you ever done the trick side um or have you got the candy first and <laughs> then done the trick side that would be very cool actually um so let me know down below have um what is like your your fondest fondest memory um about Halloween and you know what you can even tell me like if you dressed your kids up if that's your fondest memory but I'd really like to hear about some rad 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 sort of mind-blowing kind of um, party that you went to for Halloween what you wore um, who was there maybe you had, maybe you were there with some like people from YouTube that you know or some famous actors or maybe you were at a show but let me know down below um, I really, really, really want to hear this because I think that this is what Halloween should be about. Um, the commercial Halloween, this is what it should be about. It should be about making memories and remembering um, your very first Halloween in a wonderfully nostalgic way. I'm Matt from Tubby Tarot and I will see you next Sunday, probably next Tuesday. If the Halloween party goes on, I might only see you, I don't know, in a month or two's time. <laughs> I'm gonna be a man, 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 I'm gonna be a man.